Austria could think of nothing but her quarrel with Serbia. But behind Serbia stood Russia and the vast army of Tsar Nicholas II. In 1914, the tension snapped. Franz Ferdinand and his wife attended military maneuvers in Bosnia and then made a ceremonial visit to the capital, Sarajevo. In the town were a group of young Bosnian Serbs who had conspired to kill them. They left the town hall for lunch at the governor's residence. Five minutes later, they were dead. At first, nobody paid much attention to the assassination of an unpopular archduke. But those in Vienna who demanded action saw the chance to reassert Austrian authority by punishing Serbia. They made Franz Joseph send an ultimatum to Serbia designed to be unacceptable. Serbia objected to only one impossible condition. This was enough. The Austrian generals, encouraged by short-sighted ministers, took over. Von Herzendorf, the Austrian commander-in-chief, was to have his war. 84 years old and hardly knowing what he was doing, Franz Joseph signed away the peace. He then left Ischl for the last time. But he had signed more than a declaration of war against Serbia. He had signed the death sentence of his empire. It was the end of an age. The armies mobilized. Russia in support of Serbia. Germany as Austria's ally. France and then England against Germany. Two years later, the old emperor died. Quite suddenly, he was worn out. For years to come, Franz Joseph was to be made by many the scapegoat for all the ills of Central and Southeastern Europe. Yet those peoples lived together more harmoniously under the Habsburgs than they were to live together without the Habsburgs. The war went on for two more years, but already the empire was finished. In 1918, it was taken apart and shared out. There was great hope for the new Europe of small nations, Poland, Yugoslavia, Hungary, Czechoslovakia, and a tiny Austria. The crushing of this hope has been the history of our time. A restoration of the Habsburgs is unthinkable. The real answer is not yet found.
most famous man in Australia into bat. Tony Lewis introduces this nostalgic review of the career of the cricketing legend, 